So photo walk number two. Let's roll. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. What is up everybody? My name is Steven of Steven and Janica and let's do a POV photo walk part two. And this time I'm using a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. It's an awesome lens for urban photography and it's got a great focal length. I'm using that with my Lumix G9. So I'm adapting this using a Viltrox adapter because that Sigma glass is EF and this camera is micro four thirds. So uh, I'm gonna hop and bop up and down Queen Street West taking shots and let's see if I can get some cool shots using this combination. All right, let's go. Let's go over here for a second and capture some of this graffiti. Now it's cold today, it just snowed of course. I seem to do these outdoor video walks right after it snows. Not certain if I have a inclination for just getting cold, but I'm gonna have a hard time going back and forth in the gloves. So I'll see what I can do here without getting too cold. It's also bright so I really can't see what I'm shooting, but hopefully you guys can. So the one thing too with taking photography outdoors in an urban environment is that the environment is constantly changing. I mean, you get uh, different lighting conditions, you get people walking up and down the street, you get cars, you get noise. So there's a lot of factors to play into the consideration of composing your shots. And I started today when it was snowing and of course now it's bright and sunny, go figure. But uh, let's see what I can do here as it's getting a little bit warmer now. That's not a bad shot, it's pretty good. But there's a lot of awesome places to capture with footage right now because it's relatively quiet and uh, there's not a heck of a lot going on so you can get a good opportunity to get out there and take some shots. So definitely uh, get out in your urban environments and do it safely obviously. But uh, look at being able to capture some uh, photography because right now is the time to capture, c capture shots. And like I said before, you gotta take into consideration that as your lighting environment changes, so too does the style in which you are shooting. Oops, that wasn't very good. So one thing about uh, right now is that things are still shut down and Toronto is still on lockdown. And uh, it's, it's surreal. We've been like this since January, or well, actually no, since Boxing Day. And we're heading into uh, mid-February, March. So uh, hopefully we can see some opening of businesses right now because you, you drive up and down along Queen Street and it's amazing to see how many restaurants are definitely closed down. Okay, let's go over here. A lot of fantastic graffiti in this area. A lot of really good cool places to shoot. It's kind of like a mini graffiti alley back here. Ugh. I can't really see because it's a bit bright. Well, if I don't post it, it's any, any good. Let's try over here. It's gonna be a sideways kind of day, I think, today. Vertical shots. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. Now, I like to shoot most of these shots in this POV walks in a vertical format, as I find that for Instagram, if you're popping up shots right away, shooting in vertical is awesome because you don't, uh, you've composed your shot in the format that the app likes. So, uh, something to take consideration if you're gonna be shooting vertically in front of me or horizontally. It's 
Something about this is poetic. Across the street here. And so I've always loved the building style of Toronto on, on Queen West. It has this colonial kind of uh, throwback look to it, almost like a, a New York kind of vibe. Yeah, and like I said, with vertical shots, these, uh, this compositional style works really well. And the great thing about this lens, an 1835mm lens, is that you have the option, I don't know if you can see this on the video or not, like there's a good zoom. You know, and for a Micro Four Thirds camera, that's, you know, it's really ideal, uh, being able to capture that different option of, of shooting, so you're not stuck to only prime lenses. And of course, the day I want to get streetcars, <laughs> there's only buses going up and down Queen Street. Let's see if we can get some uh, more macro style of shooting here. Now the cool thing about Sigma glass as well is that this Sigma lens has a, a lovely sharpness to it. And it's an, a lens that you can adapt to multiple shooting scenarios, both for low light as well as for, uh, for daylight, obviously. And it's an f1.8, and that allows that lens to open up wide in order to capture some really, really good high definition imagery in that macro level. Um, and it's something that, you know, it gives you the, just a good range of options if you want to shoot. Let's make a, a parking machine look. Look epic if we can. I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty good for a, uh, <laughs> for one of my least favorite things in the city. And I mean, the other thing too is that when you're doing photography this time of year, try and challenge yourself to look for things you wouldn't normally shoot. I mean, yeah, there's snow everywhere and it's not exactly uh, gonna be the best conditions to get photography, but there's definitely options at being able to find and compose new ideas for shots. So challenge yourself to be creative and take pictures in areas maybe that you wouldn't normally do that. Hello, one, two, three. Well, hello, and let's take a picture. It's kind of a cool shot. Now, take into consideration that when you're shooting with a lens like this, it's sometimes hard to find that focus peaking to make sure you're completely in focus. So a lot of this is hit or miss, and you can find out more when you get back into your editing. But uh, sometimes it's hard to find use, using these um, adapted lenses onto a, a Micro Four Thirds camera is you're not 100% certain if it's completely in focus. So take that into consideration if you're about to do it on a professional level uh, for a client. All right, that's, that's a pretty cool look. Turn that down a bit. It's not too blown out. Now you guys can see my hands or not. Hopefully you can. How's that looking? Yeah, interesting. So my hands are freezing and I'm gonna call it a day now, but there you go. That's my second POV photo walk utilizing Sigma Glass, the 1835mm on my Lumix G9. Uh, random thing and completely uh, unrelated to this particular setup, I think I figured out why the motion blur happened in the last video with the, uh, uh, the Rocksteady being turned on on my Osmo Action. Quick tip to all you Osmo Action users out there, if you're gonna shoot with ND filters on, turn off your Rocksteady. Anyways, my fingers are freezing and I'm going to roll, but uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next POV Photo Walk. Cheers.